So, just got the FE6, ground that down to about a 20 degree, uh, 20 degree, generally flat. Uh, most of it's flap disc, I haven't polished it up quite yet. Um, and then it's got a 20 degree micro bevel on it. So just under 20 for this, probably like 19 on my little bevel gauge. It's 17 and a half and 20 and it's somewhere in between there. Um, I'm hoping to get the file out and make it actually more flat, uh, kind of get a jig on there. But this is just going to be kind of a test to see where I'm at. Uh, otherwise, this is looking pretty good so far. It feels pretty good. I haven't done anything to the handle yet. Uh, it's still just factory, but it comes off pretty nice. Uh, they said it's 32 inches. It's like 31-ish, uh, all said and done, I think. Um, but yeah, this is this is what she looks like here. So it's the FE6. Still, still has to get polished here. But. Took that down. It's pretty wedgy right now. Um, it does still have a bit of a high center line. So we'll see how she does here. It's getting a bit chillier out here, so. The driving power on this thing is incredible. That is my first time swinging a six pound X. But, yeah, that works. <laughs> that is, that is good. Definitely a little bit more tiring. Uh, feels weird on the control. Definitely had some big glances there. Uh, I have to get used to that, but we'll pause this here, get another log up. All right. Going again with the FE6, sharpened up again to about that 20, just maybe sub 20 a little bit, and then 20 degree micro for sure. All right, we're gonna do some eight and a half inch maple here. This is red maple. Well, it kind of dry-ish, so it's got a couple knots in it, so we'll see how the 4140 steel here is holding up.
Cool. Yeah. This thing is a lot harder to swing in three and a half pound Michigan for the 175 Basque. My goodness, does it do work? <laughs> oh. checking if it was still recording here but yeah if any of you guys are on the fence about the fe6 uh it's a great axe counts a tool again good steel it's 4140 i believe good i use that for my blacksmith hammers um and then i also have some 4140 for some of my uh, hot cut chisels it's pretty tough stuff it's not the hardest stuff in the world but depending on the heat treat uh, it'll definitely get the job done. I have no rolling, no nothing on the edge right now. And that's 20 degree micro, just sub 20 on my flat ground uh, down through here on the FE6. Left a bit of that high center line, did not want to get stuck at all. Um, I think I just got to get used to the weight, the weight of it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, goes through a eight and a half inch maple pretty darn well so the aspen i think is going to be no issue uh for training here but uh excited to see how this does on an under underhand for bucking uh through here but when you guys are looking for a heavier axe to train with uh that you just want to kind of modify uh those old like four and a half to six pound jerseys those are awesome i got one of those i gotta sharpen up uh that'll be coming soon or get the fe6 uh this thing's awesome i got the two tahis coming they're on an airplane somewhere over the ocean probably or in europe bouncing around so once those come i'll be able to get the twoies on i got two chinas coming uh get those on some handles and put uh a little bit different grinds on them, probably a banana and a chisel. And then I also got a work axe just to have that uh, for other stuff other than other than training and stuff. And then we'll see see about getting some competition saw and a uh, racing axe here eventually. But in the meantime, FE6, it's good stuff. And it split the freaking lock. Oh.